Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for watching this one. PCR's PBX software edition is officially released. We can install it on a virtual machine or a physical machine. In this video, we will talk about how to deploy Yaystar PCR's PBX software edition using VMware. First of all, we offer a 30-day trial license for free with no payment upfront. So you can go to our website yaystar.com to find the application page. Fill in the required information and submit it. Then you will be directed to Yaystar Panda Portal. Through this portal, you can continue to activate the PSERVICE PBX software edition, so you can set up and log in. By the way, this is a portal specially for our partners. Here you can view all PBXs you have and manage them. And of course, you can place new orders and find exclusive materials for your customers. Okay, now let's just go to PSERVICE SE license and find the PBX you have just supplied. Click here to obtain the activation code. You can use it to activate your system after installation in the configuration wizard on the interface. Now, to install the PSERVICE PBX software edition, the VMware firmware version must be 15.1.0 or later. So, for step 1, we'll create a virtual machine with VMware, launch the VMware workstation, find create a new virtual machine, then click on it. Here we choose typical. Of course, if you're familiar with the process, you can also click on advanced for more customizations. Click on next. Now we get into get to operating system installation. Choose I will install the operating system later. Click on next. Here we need to select the get to operating system for the VM. We choose Linux. Set version to Ubuntu 64 bit. Click on next. To move on, we can name the VM so we can identify it on our server. Then we can choose the location to install the virtual machine. When we're done, click on next. Here we need to set the maximum disk size for the VM. We need at least 40 gigs to ensure the installation process. Now we're done. Click on finish. And the virtual machine is now created successfully. For now, we do some further configuration on the VM. First of all, we need to set up the VM with the single NIC. Let's choose the newly created VM and click on Added Virtual Machine Settings. Now in the pop-up window, find the Hardware tab and go into CD and DVD. Here we check to connect head power on. So when we power on the VM, the PBX will be connected automatically. Then we define the method for connection. Check on Use ISO Image File. Click on Browse and find the PSERVICE ISO Image File location. Then we need to configure the network for our VM. Click on Network Adapter. For a newly created VM, it uses the default NAT automatically. With NAT, the virtual machine and our PC share the same network identity, which would cause the connection fill between the virtual machine and devices on the external network. So in the network connection section, select Bridge, connect it directly to the physical network. This way the remote accessibility will be ensured. Of course, we can also set up the VM with dual NIC. If you need more details, please check the link in the description. To find the VM, we still need to set up the firmware type. Go to Options and click Advanced. In the firmware type, select BIOS. Now we can click on OK and finish the configuration for the VM. Now we can start install Yaystar PSERVICE PBX software edition on the VM. Choose the VM we created for the PSERVICE system. Click on power on this virtual machine. Wait till the installation process is not running, then press enter. If we see PBX lock in, it means the installation is successful. Of course, we also support manual installation if it's necessary to install the PBX in a pointed partition of the disk. In this case, we can still click on power on this virtual machine and select continue without updating. Then we can select custom storage layout and select down. Then in available devices, we can choose our hard disk and add a new partition here. We can name each partition and adjust its size. 
Please note that the system requires deportations in this table, so please add them. Once we finish, please select Down. Now we have the partitions that we need. In the pop up window, select Continue to install PSERVICE PBX. Wait till the installation process is not running, then press Enter. And after it displays PBX lock in, the installation is successfully down. Now we can change the default IP address of this PBX before we access Inuit. Here at the IP PBX login prompt, put in support and press enter. Then add password prompt. Type QHCYAXSGCYWYMG2022 and press enter. Now we're in the Ubuntu system information. Here we put in 1 and press enter to update network configuration. We can follow the prompt to put in our new IP address, NetMask, and Gateway, then press Enter. When everything is done, open a web browser and put in the new IP address. Now we have logged into our free trial. This means that the PBX has been deployed successfully. Okay, that was how we deploy Yastar P-Service PBX software edition using VMware. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn more about Yaystar P-Service PBX system, please visit yaystar.com, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.